Hey gang, welcome back. Van Ham here with City Skylines in Daisy Hills. Um, last time out, we went like a bit of a bull in a china shop getting to this point. I think this episode, we're just going to take it back a step. We're going to slow things down. We're going to just plan out and think about what we're going to do for the future here. We're, we're making a little bit of money now at the moment. Um, we want to start getting some buildings and residential buildings upgraded. There's a couple, there's a bit of a job I want to do up near the, uh, like we had a bit of a problem with power last time. So this time I think we want to level out a bit of land at the top where the, uh, windmills are. Uh, the wind turbines, let's go with that. Not windmills, we're not making grain. <laughs> okay, we're not making, we're not cr crunching grain into flour and stuff. <laughs> so, but, um. Oh, geez, that house is close to that rail line. So, yeah, I want to level off a bit of terrain up there. We're going to have to just do a little bit like by a little bit because we don't have, you know, big bank, big cash rolling the money. I want to check out the land going around us. What's going on with this camera view? That's not very good. I was trying to do something nice sort of cinematic thing for you, and it's sort of mucked up. So, uh, and I'm going to shift this, this actual wind turbine from the um, city center there. Uh, but, uh, we'll check a couple of things. We'll, we'll play around with a few other things. We'll get things just shifted and lifted a little bit. We want to check our arable land. We want to check our forestry land and stuff and plan for the future in that sort of aspect as well. I realized last time out that I probably should have started building the city with dirt roads to start with and upgraded later, uh, just to save on costs. But it is what it is. We're doing all right. We're making a bit of money. Oh, isn't this a lovely shot of just nothing but a rail line? Um, now guys, quickly, thank you very much for everyone so far who has subscribed to the channel and supported with likes and comments. Uh, thank you very much uh, for the interest that you've shown in my Transport Fever series. It was the season finale yesterday. Uh, only a shortish sort of two and a half hour live stream just to uh, finish season one. Don't worry, season two will be kicking off at some point. Now we're doing this thing again. All right, just, let's just go with like a shot like this or something. Okay, um, so season two will be kicking off um, at some point, not too far away, so don't worry about that. The, the, we will be back and we're kicking off. We're starting in the 70s and we're moving into the future, so that'll be fun. We're getting some more brand new trains and planes and all that kind of cool stuff to uh, bring us into the future. We're running a few more mods as well when it comes to mixed cargoes and, and uh, making things look really cool. In the meantime, season one of this is rampant we're ready to go uh there'll be plenty more of this coming along and some more live streams also so stay tuned for that let's get into today's episode Well, we're making not too bad money as it is. I mean, we're making 1600 bucks, okay? So we're not doing... The main thing is cash flow is in a positive direction. I'm actually going to be a little bit cheeky here. And I'm actually going to bump these guys up to about 11%, I want to say. And I'm going to bump everything up to about 11%. Uh, yeah. Basically... So we can start putting some city ordinances in. We want to make this place... Um, if we're going to pump up the taxes, we've got to give them reasons to. That means parklands. It means better schools. Now, I just want to check something here because I do want to pump in a bit more of a... Uh, Education-wise, we're looking at. I do want to go with like an elementary school, do I? Mm. Community school wouldn't be bad. I'm thinking about slotting one just in here, but the another little elementary one would fit perfectly there. Would it? No, that has to be bulldozing. Why are you five wide? Uh, now if that goes there, uh, it's got space for a house to live. It is ten thousand dollars. We have nineteen thousand dollars. I want to get it in. I want to get this. I want to get this residential area really happy and really vibrant and I really want to get these um, houses and things upgraded. You can see here, see what I mean? We're at like one and a half in the upgrade area. So it just says educate more citizens to allow buildings to be upgraded. Make sure your education facilities can handle all potential students, right? So that's what I'm talking about. So we've got a school over here. 
we've got it on this dirt road. Right. So what do we got at the moment? 216 students of 300. If we can get another school in just over here, potentially I could just run a little off-road in here and, and make this whole like a nice little park area. We could actually run a little dirt road right through maybe and connect them both. Okay, let's have a look at that. Uh, is that my dirt road? It certainly is. Now it means that these guys are going to lose, a, so I'm better off kind of losing one over two, am I? Or am I just be better off running it like this? Uh, tell you what, we could sneak up, sneak up the back here. Uh, then what? I don't know. I don't know, but I'm just going to sneak it up the back there. <clears throat> I'm choking on an oat. Sorry, I just had breakfast. Um, okay, let's see how we go. We want to chuck uh, one of these in, or what have we got here? That's a public library. We don't want that. This little elementary school mightn't be bad. So it's 160 per week. 300 capacity. What about the community school? It's a capacity of only 250. A small and safe community school allows children to get education and grow into... Okay, yeah, that's fine. Place in there. Okay, let's just go with this elementary one, like I said. Um, and we'll plonk it in the middle here and make everyone happy. Right. So that's actually made a lot of people happy. So we've got coverage here and here now. Right, I know that's a lot. It might... Well, I thought it was going to dip us down in the money-wise, but it might actually start bumping us up. Let's check our house again now, here. Okay. What have we got going on here? What's your problem? Not enough educated workers. We're working on it, okay? We're working on it. I'd like this road to do something. <laughs> I don't know what, like, you know, you know what, we'll, we'll do something later. Let's, uh, let's check the next thing I want to have a look at, and that is actually our natural resources. Okay, so, fertile land is this greeny yellow colored here, which we could use this road to cross here and come down here and build some farmland. Okay, that's good. We've also got... Uh, we kind of built in this arable land. I'm not too worried about this where we're starting our city. This is good here. This is our industrial area. So we can actually... We've got all this room to play with industrially. To... Uh, and, and over here. To uh, burn and churn the ground and not worry about uh, polluting it so much. The green... Obviously the trees are forestry. And then what have we got? Ore and oil. So let's have a look around. We've got plenty of ore over here. Lots of ore, oil over there. More ore. Oh, look at all the ore up around that area. We can't quite see it. Uh, I can't. I can't zoom. I can't. If I go that way. Oh, you can see it. it's on that mountain. It's on that big daisy hills. <laughs> okay, plenty of, plenty of resources around here, actually. Okay, so that's good to know. Right, so that's just just keeping things in mind a little bit for planning. We've also got our zoning down here, and you can see here. So the forest industry specialise in forest to take advantage of renewable woodland. Slightly increases electricity consumption. Yep, as it, everything does. Gives us more tax income and uh, required natural resource forestry renewable. Okay, yep, fair enough. Sun-soaked plains and fertile lands, ideal for agriculture. Increases water consumption. Gives us a uh, slight increase in tax income and required natural free fertile land. Yep, okay, so we know that. Okay, and on to part three of what I want, kind of want to get to. So I think we're, the RCI is um, they're definitely in demand. The other thing I want to do is I don't want to have just bulk landfills. Right, you can just get landfill, 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 and we got nothing to do with it. If we do switch to something like mm, a recycling center, so the recycling center can more uh, can recycle more different kinds of waste. Recycling center makes less garbage pile up. The center produces small amounts of raw materials from the waste. 
pro it does process 24,000 a week 200 okay maybe we go with this 16 so this costs 160 per week upkeep this would be 240 a week but if you had two of these I'm just gonna put it in I'm actually gonna put it in opposite I know I said I was gonna have a few tips along here but I'm actually gonna put it in uh, how do I want to do this give me a little side street please I'm actually going to put that in okay and then uh, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to shut this down turn it off okay a tip is not going to be used we could actually sell this tip to be honest so we could fill uh, um let's empty the building okay, so hopefully that'll just get emptied into here how much garbage is in there 21% doesn't really tell me how much is in there though just 21% of don't know it should go into here and be processed though so that's okay and then the rest of the city's garbage should get processed okay so I much prefer that and once I can get rid of that we can probably run these from now on we've got 2,000 in hand but I want to kind of keep things a little bit greener I don't want to go down the whole route of just like just churning out dirty big smoke everywhere i know it's just a burner city early on but if you can get things established correctly early on then you can really make a difference and make it easier in life right so we've burned a little bit of cash but you can see up here i've just started to uh to make this mountain a little bit flatter up here so what i want to start doing is i'll show you right now is i want to move you to bugger okay now we're not quite there yet now you say you're eight I say why is this not eight up here hmm. well I'm trying to get the land higher so we've got more wind okay let's just have a bit of a play with it I had a, started to have a little bit of a play before, so we want to take our height, right? Take our height here. We've got plenty of land, we've got plenty of soil available at the moment. It does cost us money there, you can see 480 bucks to bulldoze that out. Okay, let's just get that. It's about a thousand. Come on. I'm hoping that raising the ground will actually give us an increase in elevation, which means that we'll get more wind. That's what I'm actually hoping. Okay, we've still got some we've still got some good income coming in, so this is quite good. Try and just get us a little bit of space up here so we can Okay, bang. Right, let's see what we're playing with here. This guy's at seven. If we move him to... Oh, he's still only at seven. That's a bit of a bugger. I thought we really could... Well, this one's also at seven. Are you not gonna... Um, I wonder if it's based more on location than what it is on actual... This one's at seven. Okay, let's just move. I want to pull it out maybe towards the front and see how we go a little bit. Okay, let's have a go at that. It's going to cost a lot more. Oh yeah, we're churning through the dollars here, but if it can, if we can make it worth it. Okay, we don't want to rinse the bank balance too much. Okay, bang. 
Let's let our cash flow build up just a little bit. Okay, so that's six megawatts. It's gonna be eight here. All right, so that's so we need to come. We need to bring them all closer out the front here. That's fine. We can do that. You, let's get you from five megawatts. Holy snap and duckfish. That's pretty bad. To eight. Right, if we can just. You should not be. Five megawatts still. Why are you five megawatts still? Maybe it'll just take a little bit to kick in. Let's check our power now. Come on, guys. We're down on electricity again. How? Is it a bad wind day? It's just not windy today. So you're... You should be shut. Off and emptying. Yeah, you should be emptying. How are you 22% full? Oh, guys, what's going on? It was, it's gone from 21 to 22. How's that power doing? I think we're in a foggy day, so we're losing power a little bit. Mm. Right, see? Problems start to occur. Luckily, we've got some money still coming in just ever so slightly. This is where you need the coal power plant, right? When you get these bad windy days. It's 29 megawatts being produced. Even though I've moved these guys up to here. Yeah, see, they're only getting 4 meg. Our original 8 meg one's only putting out 4. 4. Oh, it's a bad wind day. Right, what can we do power-wise to help this situation? Nothing. If we can get to the next population, we can get these uh, advanced wind turbines. It costs 12,000. Let's see. Okay. Let's see how we... Yeah, the trouble is we need more power. We need the speed up time. Let's try and pump through this bad foggy... It's the foggy days that get us. Alright, I think we're almost through. No. Oh, this is, this is not good. Ladies and gents, this is not good. Power to the people. How hard is it to build a working power grid? It's not exactly state-of-the-art to... I <laughs> calm down. What's uh what what do they call this again? What's it called? I forget. Uh, Twitter or something, not Twitter. It's not state of the art technology. What else are they saying? Police offers small storage spaces with secure doors for rent. Call nine one one for more information. <laughs> People throw away so much stuff that could be recycled. I'm glad that our city has taken a step in the right direction. Ah, there's a positive. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, spaghetti. -o. Come on, we need to get through this uh, foggy weather, and then we need to be come out the other side. See, as soon as you start spending big money, the game just throws a curly one at you guys. How long are you going to keep us down for? Can we see the actual weather report? What it's going to be? Look, you can see the fog everywhere. Oh yeah, very, very foggy indeed. What we need is a raging storm to come in. Uh-oh. Yeah, come on. Looks like the fog's clearing up. Here we go, the fog's clearing up. Let's see how much we're producing at a maximum. So we can look at building a, a backup power plant, maybe. Oh my giddy it's right. Let's go back to play. Now that we've got power sorted, we've got 10,000 here. So you should now be at eight, yep. So you do produce eight. Let's do a little... I'm going to do a little bit more landscaping. I know we shouldn't, but... We need to get this, uh... Sorted ASAP. Rather than BSAP. 
rather than be sapped of power, we need to uh, sort out this power ASAP. Yeah, great one, my hand. That's probably your worst one you've done. Okay, we're quickly using soil as well here. Yeah, that's okay. Not too, too worried about that. Look at our warping rocks. Okay, that's a lot of money you just sucked up. Okay. Give me this. Let's get rid of a few of those. Right. Move you. Out to here. Right there. Okay. Perfect. That you should still be powered. Let's move you. Oh, you're in 8 mega. Oh, okay, so they're all 8 megas now that they're up on the higher, higher platform area. Right, so. Excellent. I'll still move you over here, thanks. This is going to allow us to fit more in. And just get them looking a little neater. There, yep. Come on, come on, come on. There. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this one now. I know it was powering the uh, other plant. Uh, not enough money to move that for relocation. Right, so what is it, 1200 bucks for relocation? Oh, there we go. Perfect, and then we're going to have no power here for these guys, so we're going to have to run a uh, power line over for them. Which is not to worry. We can run that. Let's go. That. Perfect, okay. Let's get these guys a little bit of industrial over here to help. Ooh, we don't want that tool. Uh, let's go four by four. I want to keep a gap there. Do I? No, I don't. Yeah, let's just give them that. Okay. And then, ooh, they're sucking that up pretty quick. Then once this is, uh, still, is it emptying? I guess it has to empty into here though, doesn't it? Yeah. We might need to put in two of these centers. Okay, we're going to have to do something about our power issues if it gets foggy again. That's going to kill us. Garbage is starting to build up. Hmm. It's only one place. That'll be right. The garbage trucks will get to them. Let's look now at uh, just giving ourselves a little bit more residential. How do you want to do this, Ham? We could go residential down in this corner. Right, so let's look at water. Look at our arable land here for a second again. Oh, so much arable land here we could be utilizing. Uh, do we want to worry about that early on? No, we still want to just get established so we can make good money, I think. Okay. Power is going to be the issue. How are we going to get through that? If that just if we keep getting those drops, it's going to be really hard. Okay. How about we build something nice? We could be using this for forestry. We could utilize that for forestry. Yeah, okay, build up the back here then. Like such. Beautiful, and we'll actually, I think I might just grid this one, like such. Okay, wait for our cash to pop back in. Let's get a bit of speed up going, because I want to actually fill all, the, I want to give this all. 
Jeez, it's expensive. You could put it in a dirt road. Yeah, okay. We talked about that early on. Yeah, it's half the cost, isn't it? Right, let's now establish some... Uh, uh, no, pipes, hand pipes. Pipes are expensive. They're like... How much are pipes? They're like 0 0.08 per cell. Now, how big's a cell? Is that just one of those little cells? So one square is a cell. Holy moly, that could be expensive, couldn't it? Yep. Okay. Time to fill in the blanks. Let's see how that goes. And then we'll give them a little bit of commercial down here. We'll make this like a bit of a nice sort of commercial area down here, I think. Let's give them the 4x4 four four to start with and see how they go with that. Also, they're screaming for more... There's not enough uh, workers, but we're getting them here. All right, we're getting workers in for you guys. Don't stress. Garbage is starting to build up, but it's not too bad, you know? You know, in like real life, there's always problems with garbage here and there. Uh, we're not even utilizing all of our trucks, to be honest. Still at 22%. Uh we need to get some sort of incinerator. Power plant incinerator. Is that a thing? I think that is a thing for memory. Incineration plant. There we go. Processing plant and it gives us power. We get that at a population of 8,000. So I think we need to work towards that. Right, how's that garbage doing? Yeah, we're good. We're getting on top of the garbage. Don't worry. It'll, it's a process. This will be actually a nice little suburb. Let's get another park in. I want to get these places upgrading. We've got all this land in here also, but I kind of want to keep that land vacant. I have plans in the future potentially for that. Um, you could expand down here. No, I want to actually turn this into forestry stuff. I might even end up flattening a lot of this land for the forestry down here. And then utilizing more space up here for wind power. How are we doing on power now? We're just scraping by. We could use, uh, could really use these, uh, these ones here. So they give an output up to 20 megawatts. Are these the water ones also? Are they water turbines? Yeah, bodies of water. Which might be a little bit better. Okay. Let's just keep getting the people built up then. We need to get people in and dusted. Got this road along here we could uh, put... I don't want to build too much around here because I will use all this probably... Maybe just that area. Let's look at what we're going to buy next for... 30k in the bank, that's pretty good. Areas for our next area. Excuse me, um, Chirper. I think that's what it's called, Chirper. <laughs> now we could buy this, yep. That's a lot of building space we've got right there. I could buy this and then we could kick this all into our forestry area, which might not be too bad, actually. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Then what? We could buy this, which gives us potential farming land. Now that's not a bad idea. That gives us farming and forestry. That gives us f plenty more farming and forestry and all. Yeah, I need really building space for residential too, don't I? This would probably be the best one. We can build a big city in here. Industrial over here. And that's our first little town there. Yeah, I think that would be the one that we buy there. Costs 5400 There's no... Oh, I don't care about that at the moment, to be honest. And then we just have to run some sort of uh, motorway. Okay. We'll keep that. That's probably the one we're going to buy next. Let's get our population just up to that. Uh, what mark do we have to get it yet? 2 6 mark. Another 500 people. We can do that. Okay, 
let's uh, give me that. Yep, yep. Leave a gap. Leave a gap there too. Just in case I need to run a road through there. Uh, hmm. Yep. Leave it like that. And then we've got plenty of space on the back side here also. Really, I really want to avoid putting in another one of these, but I think we have to. It's only seven there. Or is that because we're down to seven everywhere? No. Okay. Eight. <sighs> Another eight megawatts, mega hoosies. Just keep us above the threshold. We want, I don't want to be hit, hit with like some sort of a, some problem again and we lose a lot of money. Now we do have houses along the back here, so let's put some more in. In fact, we could just extend that to there. Right, let's get a park in here. I've started looking at this uh, this stuff here as well. I don't know how much... We have to zone it, I think. That's why. Yeah, we have to zone it. I'm not going to do it quite yet. But I know there's... Like, if you can cut your zones off, and the only way that... The residential could get to an industrial zone for work you could put a park in between with um, ticket gates and so people have to go through the park every day uh, and pay money to you just to get to work so it can be quite lucrative doing that i know that's the thing but i kind of don't want to do that i kind of want to pay it just a little bit normal um right so this ep this episode's been a little bit more dreary so far like last time it was just gangbusters getting everything in today it's more about we have to just take a step back get our power sorted get our water sorted getting our resources sorted get planning for what we're going to do in the future and um just get ourselves set a little bit so we can uh, make sure that we're going to be able to uh keep expanding and keep growing let's get that in there yeah um, that road could come through there come through here so well we could come through up into this spot it's a nice square there so we'll leave that square for a road um yep yeah, there and there and let's get some shops some corner stores what do we reckon reckon yes okay corner shops i do like myself a couple of corner stores Corner store can go in there. Yep. Right, you were saying parks. I was indeed saying park. Well, let's put some. Uh, there we go. Let's put like a. What's that? Let's put a basketball court in. Ooh, they're quite big, aren't they? The old basketball court. I don't I hate? That's one thing I do hate is how they make the uh, the like uh, the like. Uh, park buildings and stuff like a square bigger than like the actual like 4x4 four four. there's a park there mm. there's a little house there we could run here we go this little house here you're about to lose your house my friend yep way as well in fact I'll take just a slight curve on this one yeah like that nice I started whacking in a heap of trees over here just so I could play with the tree gun okay there's a nice little sort of back back street area that we can put our basketball although have I made this too big I potentially just made this too big let's have a look yes ham you've absolutely you've absolutely stuffed it yeah I have, haven't I I've got a plan 
I've got another plan, guys. Don't worry. That did look good, but uh, in the end, too bad. Keep coming this way just ever so slightly. Yep. No, 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 what's going on here? I don't want square roads. I didn't have that selected. But happy. Happy, happy, happy. Now that fits in. So I'll put this guy, I think. Also. good I'll make straight on that road because this will make all these people here happy when I put this basketball court in okay let's get it in now do we want the basketball court or the tennis court or potentially both now let's get you in so awkward it makes it so awkward let's get you in there yeah and everyone rejoiced <laughs> and then we can do this. We can actually pump in some residential right next to you. No, that's the wrong one. God. Right, residential. Four by four, lovely. And another four by four there. We'll put in some shops here. Yep. And then we'll put in another set of houses here. Another bit of commerce in there. They're screaming for commerce at the moment. We'll put some shops here. That'll be like a little shop area. What's going on with these things? These aren't going to build there like that. Let's get you guys sorted. Okay, that'll be a nice little uh, residential area. Did we put any in on the side? I don't know if we did. Lovely. And then since we commerce here again also... Or another park. Nah. Oh, we could put another park in and really make them happy. Have a look then. Parks. Have we got anything a bit smaller? Like this plaza? That's a bit much. A uh, small park. Oh, geez, that's big too. That's too big. Way too big. What about this? Ah, this little Zen garden here. That'll really make them happy. Hey, that's what, what do we call this? A Japanese garden. Oh, that's nice. People will love that. Okay. How's our population doing? 24, 2496. We're all, we're getting there. Screaming for more industrial. How are we doing uh, on the processing here of rubbish? 22% full. Building is set to empty, it's content and therefore not working. Okay, we'll just leave that set on empty. These guys are getting pretty full with rubbish. They're jam packed. Okay, that'll be right. Right, this looks quite nice in here now, this little like suburb area that'll come up really nicely we're getting close to population i think we just need a few more places to buy up we've got plenty of land All right let's put in just a little bit more industrial uh let's go here and we'll check our power also we're getting close if we can just get hang on oh i don't, I don't want to really put another one in until we can put one of these in, to be honest. We got 46k in the bank ham. We could build a bloody coal power plant out here. I think we should just chuck one in, shouldn't we? Okay, we're going coal for a while until we get sorted. I don't want to have the problem of power issues again. Let's get some city ordinances up now. Let's get, uh, we could put power usage in. I don't know how much that's going to cost us though. 
Please connect your city to a highway connection. This way people can move in and transport goods to your city. Outside connections also grow to... Okay, are we not connected to the outside world? <sighs> are we not connected to the outside world? I don't know because I can't get all the way to the other end. Okay, not my concern at the moment. Uh, I mean, I would like to get rid of rubbish and spy and sell it, but I don't think we can. Right, we've had to put in the coal power plant. This is going to be temporary, though, this coal power plant. What we are going to do, though, is put in some city ordinances. We're making all right money. Let's go with... Uh, I know what makes people happy. And that is smoke detector distribution. Why is this looking a bit fuzzy? I'd like to know the cost of this also. So five cents per building. Hey! Yes! As we speak of it. Let's have a look at what we've got here with new areas we can buy. Transport, which is going to be very helpful. I can't wait to put some transport in. Trams, taxis, tours, post service. We've got walking tours, ferries. Level three build unique buildings. Or industry specialization. We haven't even done forestry or uh, farming yet so we just need to hold down that on it. Policies, we've got recycling. Recycling centers work with 20% more efficiency. Excellent, we might put that in. It's gonna cost a hundred cents recycling center a week. Free Wi-Fi. Okay, we've got a lot of stuff we can start putting in road-wise. Plenty of roads there, ferry pathways. Three lane highways. Uh, pipes with heating. We've got our advanced wind turbine. Excellent. Cemeteries, which are pretty morbid, but that's going to be coming up definitely. Uh, these are all the geothermal stuff. Stuff we can't even. Elderly care. Gosh, stuff we're not even going to be able to. Uh, emergency shelter. Oh, gosh, I hope we don't need that yet. Look at all this stuff. Holy moly. And you can go back and check the stuff that we've had previously unlocked we haven't even got to half that stuff yet okay lovely to know let's get um see right now i could probably do away with that uh this plant and straight away we could put in our now the latest technology allows you to build advanced wind turbines in bodies of water in order to save space the amount of power produced depends on how strong the wind is on the spot where the turbine is built it must be placed on water I see, I would have thought that it would be more only four megawatts, eight. So it's really windy out here. You get 20 meg out there. What do we get on this side? Ooh, now. Why would you not let me build you there? Can you build that? <gasps> you can. Whoops. Okay. We're going to put two of these in. That only produces 12. This is 15, 16. But our area is not as big. Still better be we can get rid of the coal power plant then. Uh, do we have things like underground lines? I know it looks like I'm wasting money here, but I'm actually about to sell off a few things. I've really wanted that to be more megawatts like that. Okay, we just have to do it that way. But it means instantly we're going to sell this. I sell it? How do I sell it? How do I sell it? Do I just delete it? You're about to destroy this structure. Do you wish to proceed? Yes. Did I make money back? Probably not. Is there electricity? <laughs> we got plenty of electricity. All right, we're going to leave our wind turns up, turbines up there. We're going to leave these guys down here. Let's now put in our ordinance of... Now this here, recycling is a big part of environment. Sustainable, it also keeps the neighborhood looking tidy with small investment into recycling technology and waste containers. You can make your city neat. Put it in. 
We're gonna put that in uh recycling plastic. This is the one I wanted, actually, that one. How much does that hurt us in the money? And the other one I want to put in is smoke detector. Make citizens' lives safer and the fire department's job easier. We're going to put that in. I could put in power usage. Energy conservation. Let's put it in and if we start to uh, struggle, I might actually just pump the budget up a little bit also. Get these guys to 12%, these guys to 13, and these guys to 13. Yeah, okay. Let's see how they go with that. But it may make this building here all of a sudden. Yeah, see, processing rate at now it's gone from 24,000 to 28,800, which is a whole lot better. Okay, it means we're going to be able to stay on top of this rubbish, I hope. We got plenty of rubbish out here. Why aren't you trucks? 15 of trucks in service. They'll be out there. Lifting and shifting trash. All right. So, how do we feel about that? I think I want to put in my forestry. That's how I feel about that. Let's just check water here. We've got plenty of water. Sewage treatment. Poor sewage. Oh my gosh. Look at it. It's just getting pumped out there. We put. We should put green. Uh, green waste sewage in right now which is this one here eco water outlet the green alternative while the eco water outlet is quite expensive okay 480 a week as opposed to 320 a week it's not that much more we are running in a negative though right so that will be part of our ordinances. Let's see if we can just drop off the power usage one. See if that gets us back in the green. Uh, bugger the smoke detectors. We can put that in later. I want the recycling one up though to keep us on top of our rubbish. Okay, yep. So too bad. The fire department's just going to have to deal with fires wherever they are. How do we feel people about our town? Uh, uh, this is coming along quite nicely. Look at this train comes along the back here. That's even, that's pretty cool. Get a good shot of that. It's transport fever all over again. The train went really quick. That was disappointing. <laughs> and it's when you get down here, things come out of focus a lot. Do love a junction. Okay, um how are you guys just walk your rubbish across the bloody road? Oh jeez, I don't know. Right. Let's change this eco doozy. Oh, now we're making plenty of money again. Okay, we can have one of you and not the other, I think. Let's, let's give them smoke detectors. I'll take a hit on smoke detectors. Right, we're going to put in the eco old matey. Which is going to go there or here. Tell you what, we're gonna pause it. We're gonna get rid of you. And then we're gonna plug you in there. Is that our eco one? Yep. Okay, let's see how that goes. Because I don't want to have <laughs> big, dirty brown waterways. Okay. So that should hopefully. Let's check our water again now. Surge treatment. Come on. Don't do this to me. You should be able to. Water consumption, water pumping capacity, sewage production is 73. Okay, so we're producing more sewage than we're not. Uh, which means all of a sudden we have to run two of these eco doozies. Ah. Run an inland water treatment plant. It's 320. Just put in another eco doozy and then we'll have to take I think another Sydney ordinance off probably a touch too early to be running city ordinances anyway Look, I'm just gonna go there okay give me the pipes please pipe it then Okay, so we're running two of those now. 
take another ordinance off. Smoke detector's gone. I want to keep the recycling though. What's going on here? We've had a death. We need... A cemetery. Or do we want a... Uh, child health care. We don't care about... We don't care about the kids that much yet. Cemetery. People love cemeteries in this game for memory. We could plonk that straight in there. Or we could make it a bit of a feature over here. This is going to be forestry, is it not? I kind of want it to be like a... When they drive past in the future when we've got everything built up. Oh, there's that old cemetery. It's been there since the beginning of the town. I don't want it there. We might do something similar like this in there. Uh, so let's put this... Put this on the corner. Hey, I think that's a good spot for it. And everyone rejoices because they get to look at a cemetery for some weird reason. All right. We're going to get a crem crematorium eventually. And that'll be, uh, this will be all... <laughs> Weirdly enough, <laughs> the plan is we're going to put an aged care facility right next door to the, <laughs> to the cemetery. Which is then in turn right next door to the crematorium. Uh, you know, it just ebb and flows. That's, that's just life. Uh, we might put the daycare center right next to the elderly care as well. And say, this is this is where you'll end up, kids. Learning 101. <laughs> okay. Next time out, I think we're going to look at... Doing some suburb stuff. We could just put one in now. What do you think? Uh, districts. Oh, well, let's put a district in. Okay, let's make... Um, ooh. What do you think? I think make... I think make this a district from here. Like this. Down here. Yep. Keep it coming. Oh, I didn't want to do that. How do you keep doing that? I don't know. Wobbly hands, I guess. And once again, ah, uh, stop, ham. Uh, it's not me, it's the actual mouse doing it. Okay. Stop playing with that. Right. Up here. Yep. Like so. Also, that's the border. Yep, and then what? Uh, then down here. Okay, actually you probably don't need that because we're not going to so much build in there right now. And then up around here. District 1, Hawthorne District. I don't know about that. I'm a bit unsure about that. That is super duper. You were really neat and cautious on the first one. And now you've just gone stuff it, haven't you? Yeah, I've just gone stuff it, haven't I? Let me zoom out and do it a little bit. It keeps like trying to um, clip me, that's all. That's, um... Better, 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 better. Alright, so what do we got here? We've got, um... Smith Hills. Can, I'd like to rename... Oh, I can rename them. Alright, this is not Smith Hills. This is gonna be called, um... Um... Well, we've got Daisy Hills. So let's call it um, ooh. Let's call it um, Treetops Yep, Treetops it is 
Actually, you want to spell that with the capital T there too. Welcome to Treetops. Why is it called t Treetops? I don't know. Just as I prefer Treetops. Hawthorne District? Ah, uh, potentially. Could call it Hawthorne. Hawthorne Heights? Mate, that would be sounds better, I reckon. Hawthorne Heights. Yeah, that's what we're going. Okay. Hawthorne Heights and Treetops. We've still got garbage issues. Uh, but I think... I think give it a chance and we're not going to have garbage issues too much longer. Once these guys start plowing into this rubbish, we'll be right. I want to know though, this is what I want to know is, can this garbage here be emptied into the recycling center? What else do we have? Uh, we don't have anything else, do we? No, it's literally just... Just that and that. Yeah, bugger. Forestry industry. Okay. That's all we've... You sure that's all you've got? Yep, that's all I've got. What I really want... Floating garbage collector. We don't need that. Waste transfer facility. Waste transfer... Okay, let's just read about this later. I think that's a good way to... I think we've we've done a good job though today of uh, sorting the power out a little bit more. Power. We've got bucket loads of power up our sleeve for a little bit. We've got like more uh we can put in here also we're making all right money see i would have loved to have had the city ordinance smoke detectors or even power usage but uh, i think they just we need to get a little bit more going first i'm happy to take the recycle we could take recycling uh no no no, no. that reduces garbage accumulation okay come on guys stay on top of the rubbish I'm, I need you to. I need you to. That's it. I've been Van Ham. I know today was a little bit slower than the first episode. The first episode was bang, bang, bang. We're just punching stuff in. But uh, I think today we did really well getting on top of a couple of issues that I wanted to get on top of. Next time out, I think um, we'll look at put, we need to put in a park. And I want to put in a uh, self-build one that you can, people actually have to pay to walk through the gates and all that sort of stuff so we can make a little bit more money there as well. Um, and I really want to buff up this first area. I want to get the buildings upgraded more so we can... Because uh, that does increase population also by having them upgraded. Um, it also means we can increase taxes and make more income that way. Also, uh, we'll look at expanding. We'll get the forestry and potentially some farmland in, I think, also. Um, what else? Plenty more to come, I guess. We've got so many more buildings to put in. And then we might sort of, uh, build a bit of a bigger metropolis. I think we're going to build a bit of a bigger metropolis and try and get that, uh, get that producing a bucket load of cash. And we'll make that bit, a bit more gridded also, I think. And then we can put in a transport service from the uh, metropolis down to the actual suburbs and that sort of stuff. All right, so that's where we're going to go with that. Next episode, stay tuned for that. Uh, stay safe wherever you are. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell notification for more content. I've been Van Ham. Thanks for joining me today. There we go. All right, ladies and gents, that's it now. Follow this donut van.